video break, Psalm 31, verse 24. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope is in the Lord. David gives his people a very, com I mean, it's a command. Be strong and take heart. Have you ever realized when you become disheartened, how it just wanes on you to the place that you lose strength? And soon your strength is, your strength is, is dissipating to the place where you really don't want to move. You don't have energy to do anything. Life has become, it's become a chore. It's become difficult because you have no strength left. And so when our, when our heart, when he says take heart, what he's actually saying is take your attention towards God. Allow your heart to become to the place where it's absorbed in what he wants to offer you and me. And if we realize what God wants to give to you and me, it helps us to grow in encouragement. And when we're growing in encouragement, it gives us the courage to face tomorrow. Because now our hope isn't in what we see, our hope isn't in our own confidence or our own ability, or the hope is that we haven't placed our hope in, in the world or, you know, politicians or any other authority our hope is in God and when our hope is placed there we can have great confidence and great courage because he's the overcomer and greater is he that is, that's living in us than he that is in the world and so his spirit becomes so alive in us that he gives us the strength to face tomorrow and but our hope has to be in that place our confidence what we're expecting can't be when what we see it has to go farther. It has to go deeper. It has to go beyond that. Because when we look out at the world, when we peek, when we open our curtains and begin our new day, you know, if we take a good look around, if we turn on the TV and start listening to the news, we could soon, we could soon lose heart because we've lost hope. Because our hope then is becoming what we hear, what we're visualizing, our surroundings. But there's so much deeper than, than that. When our hope is placed in what God is saying in God's word, we can grow in this great ability to have courage because now we see our strength isn't in the world we live in. It's so much deeper than that. It's in what God wants to give to you and to me. So do you need some strength today? You, my friend, have a blessed day.